Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of February 28th to March 6, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. First card we have in regards to your energy, we have the Queen of Wands, the Judgment card in reverse, the Temperance card in reverse, the Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. At the bottom, Page of Wands. all right so give me one second hmm i feel like there's someone who you're waiting for virgo mm -hmm. I feel like this is your energy, actually, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. I feel like both of these are your energy. Um, I feel like you're waiting for someone to prove themselves to you. You're waiting for someone to show up or someone to come towards you, reach out to you and I feel like you're not going to have any strong reaction or show them any strong reaction because it's because I feel like you think they need to kind of earn back your trust. We do have the five of wands. You might have had some uh, negative energy. You might have some negative energy with this person, or there might be some negative energy with this person, um, some sort of conflict there. You might be expecting this person to return back. That might be something that you're thinking is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Queen of Swords spirit. Let me clarify. Strength in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This this feels contradictory. Five of Pentacles and strength. Um, 
because I feel like you're letting somebody go, but you're not letting them go at the same time. So I feel like there's a little bit of contradiction there. What's the Queen of Wands doing? The moon in reverse and the fool in reverse. Some of you feel like you've figured out this person already. Some of you feel like you know the truth about this person. And some of you just want this want to hear it from this person's mouth. Even though you already know the truth. And I feel like some of you are holding back from this person because you don't feel like this person deserves to be chased for whatever reason. What's the uh, judgment there in temperance spirit? Yeah, I do feel like you're waiting for this person to make an appearance or to reach out because I feel like you know that it's going to happen. You just might not... Ex you might not know exactly when, but you know that at some point they're going to be kind of crying. I don't know why I see crying because the nine of cups is in reverse. I suppose I am. Um, that means like feeling guilty or feeling regretful. Coming back to coming back towards you with guilt or regret. What's the Nine of Cups spirit? Okay, what's the King of Swords? For some of you might feel like you know that this person is going to need you for something or want you for something. There might be an age difference between in 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 which you're older and they're younger for some of you. Because um I do feel like you see this person as um someone who might be dependent on you or someone who has acted like they're dependent on you. What's the death card here, spirit? I do feel like you, some of you are wearing a little bit of a, um, a hard shell or a disguise. Some of you might be wearing a little bit of a fake disguise. Um, you might be projecting yourself as, you know, unemotional, but I do feel like there's a lot of emotion that you feel for this person. Um, however, I do feel like you don't want this person to know that because you feel like they might manipulate you or, you know, use use your emotions against you, your your feelings for them against you or manipulate you with them. Okay, so that, that message felt really specific. That did not feel like a general message. So I'm not sure if that's going to resonate for many of you Virgos. Hopefully it does. I feel like I just said a very specific story. Let's take a look at your person. Let's see what their energy is for this week.
spirit angels and guides show me the energy of the person virgo is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week thank you spirit first card is the hangman you might be dealing with a pisces the seven of swords the nine of swords the page of swords the ace of pentacles the sun could be a leo you're dealing with the six of cups Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have Hermit. Could be a Virgo, another Virgo. Interesting energy. Could be a Sagittarius also. All right, give me one moment here. Just looking at everything at the full picture. Hangman so. Hmm. Have a heavy spy energy, Virgo here. Heavy spying energy. This is someone who might be spying on you, following you, keeping tabs on you. Just or very focused on you mentally, they're very focused on you, they're heavily thinking about you. They're in this energy of waiting with the hangman. I feel like things are up in the air between you two. I feel like this is someone who's kind of hiding themselves, hiding hiding the truth about something. I do see the ace of pentacles here in the middle, so this is someone who does want a new beginning with you. Um, they want um, commitment, stability, and the Ace of Cups. This is someone, again, who wants a new beginning in love. Oh, okay. So I see why you were um, waiting here for this person, Virgo. I can see what you were, what your energy was talking about now that I'm looking at your person. They definitely are feeling tempted here to, to make some kind of offer to you and to speak up to you. This is someone who definitely wants to communicate a message to you. And this is someone who's interested in you. This is someone who wants um, stability and commitment and a new beginning. Um, they might be a little immature. Did I say that? I think I said that before. I mean like younger, younger or immature or both. Yeah, I said that. I felt like I said that. I think that you are older and this person is younger for some of you. Or just energetically, they're younger. Because um, I do feel like this is someone who's kind of playing games. Kind of like a cat and mouse game is what I want to say. It feels a little bit like cat and mouse. This is someone who wants you to make the first move. This is someone who wants you to break the ice and to reach out to them. But it's like they're tempted to do it themselves. They're tempted to, to break the ice and to be the first ones to reach out to you and make you an offer. They're not taking any action right now on purpose because they're waiting to see if you reach out to them first. I do feel like there is an energy of two people here also, two options. So I do feel like for some of you, this is someone who has two options. Um, there is you and there's another person also. And I feel like this person is kind of... Um, 
trying to play their odds. If that makes sense. I feel like this person is gambling a little bit. They're being a, they're being sneaky. They're definitely being sneaky. There is a little bit of toxic energy connected to this person also, Virgo. I feel like this is someone who is codependent and this is someone who wants who wants someone to take care of them, you know? And who wants someone to cater to them. And this is definitely someone who wants to be chased also. They want you to chase them. I feel like they're trying to tempt you or they're trying to get your attention. What's the seven of swords, Spirit? And the hangman? Yeah, I definitely um, see what you were seeing. I feel like this is someone who might eventually um, kind of uh, break out of their acting role and come back, come running towards you. Because I feel like they're kind of acting here, playing some kind of acting role. What's the Page of Swords? Very stubborn, very stubborn person. Definitely someone who doesn't want to admit the truth. But they definitely have their eye on you. If there's somebody, oh, there it is. There's a, oh, there it is. Three of cups and three of pentacles in reverse. And I was gonna say, if there's somebody else in the picture, I do feel like there's somebody else in the picture, but I, but I feel like they're more focused on you because you're the one who, <clears throat> sorry, you might be the one who's playing a little bit hard to get. And I feel like that makes, that makes, you, that makes you more attractive to them. It's like an unhealthy attraction though. It's like an attraction for the wrong reasons, you know, that type of energy. I feel like this person just kind of likes to be in this type of competitive energy. In this kind of competition and this kind of game, cat and mouse game. I feel like this is something they enjoy or something that, you know, kind of um, uh, motivates them or, like I said, makes them more um, attracted to you. They definitely want you. There's they they definitely feel a strong attraction. I'm, I I want to say sexual attraction also. There's a there's a chemistry there that they feel with you. But they're definitely more stubborn than anything else. So I do see them very stubbornly um holding back here. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonate with, resonated with you. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at what are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.